Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing the world's smallest tennis racket. This is the Functional Tennis Saber, and it's got a 37 square inch racket head. And guys, I already made a video with this racket. You can check it out right here. I wanted to give this racket a real test and see if this can provide any benefit to your tennis game. And I gotta tell you that, first of all, the racket is made out of exceptional quality. It's a graphite racket. It feels really good. But also, when you play with a racket head size that's this small, you're forced to track the ball very accurately. You're forced to move your feet a lot more than you normally would. And overall, your concentration has to be really sharp if you want to have any success of playing with this racket. So guys, in today's video, I want to give this racket even more of a test. Last time I used it, I played against the recreational level player. So today I'm going to be facing a high level player, my buddy Milan, who used to play Division II. And I'm going to put the functional tennis saber to the real test. And by the way, you can get this racket 10% off. It's a special deal on Black Friday if you click the link in my description. And the hardest thing with the saber is picking up the ball off the ground. This provides me more difficulty than actually hitting the ball. I missed a super easy one there. Very frustrating miss because I hit a fantastic back end down the line and it was just a little bit too much of a low intensity setup on that forehand. It had nothing to do with the racket. It was just a lack of intensity. Not too worried, but worried about whether I win the point or lose the point, but I want to make clean contact as often as possible. And to do that, I got, I got to make sure I work hard, keep the feet moving, track the ball well. Here we go, come on. Okay, a couple of misses there, but again, I wasn't positioned well on those forehands. I wasn't in the right place. That was the reason why I shanked it. Again, not in a good position, and that caused the shank. And I had to take one extra step there to be comfortable on that backhand. Guys, again, this is a good coach, this racket, because it tells you when you're not doing enough work. Thank you, very friendly call. Thanks, Mel. I'm crushing the high balls with this racket. You saw that? No, I saw it. Pretty good, right? This racket is not shorter. Let me check. No, it's regular length. No, that was wide, right? All right, good try. Too good, Milan. Too good. But you know, this wasn't the real advertisement for this racket. The real advertisement comes now, when I grab my own racket to see whether I can play better with my racket. You're playing with the intuitive tennis dampener. Of course I am. Wow, look at this. You're representing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> what you got in here? What is this? Uh, RPM Blast? You don't know? She's like me, I don't even know. Please bring it up. All right, here we go, Milan. Oh my god, this it looks like this is the 137 square inch gamma now compared to the racket I just used. It seems huge, this racket. Let's see if I can notice any improvements in ball tracking, footwork, and intensity.
Guys, I highly recommend this Sabre. When I grabbed my regular racket, it seemed like the racket head size was 137 square inches, like the largest racket in the world. That's what it felt like. And it felt like I could never frame the ball, even if I wanted to. So this Sabre racket with the 37 square inch head as a progression is a phenomenal way to exercise, to improve the accuracy at which you are tracking the ball, to improve your intensity, your footwork, your positioning, and your overall concentration. So take advantage of the one day only Black Friday 10% off deal on the Functional Tennis Sabre by clicking the link in the description. I'll see you guys next time.